Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing back again with another video. Hey, shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Smash that like and subscribe button and share the video always. And go subscribe to Urban Media Fix if you're looking for the exclusive street news. And go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. All right, we're going to talk some of this uh, heavyweight boxing, man. And shout out to the homie, the heavyweight uh, Mr. Boxing today, too. Uh... I had been, we had been talking about this uh, matchup, you know, for quite some time when they first announced it, and I had been uh, intending on making a video about Felipe Hakovic a while ago, just to never get to it, but anyway, we're going to jump right on the tour, no need to explain no more, uh, this is what it is now, we got Felipe Hakovic versus Amir uh, Mansour, and you know, Felipe Hakovic is from Croatia, fighting out of Croatia. And we know uh, I met my source from Baltimore, Maryland. But uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, Hagovic is getting rushed a little too early. Um, how I look at it is like, I mean, yeah and no. Because, you know, he just turned pro. Now, he don't got too many pro fights, but he got a lot of amateur and limping amateur background uh experience and, and you know the olympics he came out of the olympics i can't I, I think he was a I what i can't remember what he was I, I don't know if he was a silver or something like that i think it was 2016 but anyway uh, Felipe hegovich man six six good fighter man uh kind of got he got to like the eastern european uh type of uh style you know, upright, but I think he he has a uh, he's very busy though. He 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 does throw a lot of combination punches. Uh, the only thing I don't like about what, what he does defensive wise, but all of them do that. The Eastern they they the pull pull back, you know, with their head a lot. But it's it's with well, the Mansour man. He's gonna try. He's gonna have little clever ways to try to get inside on Felipe Herkovich and. Uh, that's gonna be the interesting part to see how how good uh, cause I, I done seen Felipe Herkovich tie up pretty decent, you know, in fights. And the guy he he he's really believe it or not, he's kinda of used to fighting guys with that old awkward, uh aggressive type uh style like her, uh a Mansour. Not not quite that that particular style, but you know, aggressive. Cause I done watched a lot of his fights, man. I done seen a lot of guys just jump on him out out the gate, and he's pretty good at uh, negating that that uh, that pressure. You understand what I'm saying? He's pretty good at it. So we, it's just gonna be interesting to see what he does with a seasoned vet like uh, Amir Mansour at the age of 48, who in tip top condition, probably still. And you know. Uh, if a mem if a mem Mansour can uh, maintain his condition and level and how he's been, you know, maintaining it, it's gonna be interesting to see how this fight, you know, uh unfolds, man. It's gonna be interesting. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and run with my man Felipe Hakovich because uh I think he can win this fight on points. I think that uh a mem Mansour will catch uh Hakovic, uh yeah, you know, sometimes in this fight, and I, I just want to see how Hagovich gonna respond. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Mansour wobbles uh, Hagovich uh, in the fight or gets him hurt. But I just think that Hagovich got uh, what it takes to, to get past the test, man, to get to that next level. And this is gonna be a big, big step up fight for Felipe Hagovich. A big step up fight, and. Um, yeah, he's one of those other heavyweights that's on the fast track. But this is going to be a very, very intriguing matchup. To me, I'm looking forward to see this fight. Um, I got Hackovich winning the decision. You know, uh, probably split decision. You know, I think it would be uh, a little closer than what people think, maybe. You know, it just depends on, you know, how, how Amir Mansour is going to look. And see, the thing about Hagovic, Hagovic is not a heavy puncher. He's just real consistent with his punches, he's, with his pace. He likes to uh, jab right hand and left hook to the body. He loves to throw that left hook to the body as well. 
So you'll see a lot of that. We're gonna see a lot of mixing up and exchanges. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel, like, share the video with all the peace.